He was one of the greatest musicians of all time. He sold millions of records. Reggae superstar Bob Marley got his start right here in the ghetto of Kingston, Jamaica, known as Trenchtown. Call a cab and tell them you want to visit the Trenchtown Culture Yard. It's like finding the holy grail of reggae. Sophie Daw is your tour guide. She'll tell you that it was Trenchtown that created reggae, and reggae that created Bob Marley. I'm here where I'm from, year 2000. I actually started the music in 1999. This is a national monument which was protected by the Jamaica National Heritage Trust. The rooms are tiny, yet whole families lived in them, paying a few shillings in rent. The ghetto was violent, but music was everywhere. Bob was mentored in guitar and melody in the yard by musicians like Tarta Ford. The little boy slept with his mother on a tiny bed. Out in the yard, the first thing you'll notice is Bob's first car. Across the yard, we see some musicians practicing. I think maybe they're writing some new songs for an album. It appears there may even be a recording studio over there. Of course, all visitors are here to see Bob Marley and get a souvenir photo. And whenever you're spinning a story, people always want proof that you're telling the truth about where you've been and what you've done. So I just put over my shoulder here. And I let you see that is Bob Marley, a statue of him, right next to the tenement that he was born in Trenchtown here in Jamaica. Trenchtown is an amazing place to come. Uh, if you love Bob Marley, especially if you're a fan of reggae music, this is exactly the place where he was born. All right, let's go see what's going on over there. There is definitely something very interesting going on inside. Apparently, there are members of a band called Live in Culture practicing songs for a new album. The singers in the band are persuaded to perform for us. Peace and 